Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jeff and welcome to Imagination Tech as well as welcome to my new workshop, Man Cave or whatever, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> so um, today it's going to be just a quick video. Um, JP sent me his Mobula 6 HD and um, two of its motors aren't working properly. I mean, they are spinning. However, they're stopping intermittently and uh, this thing can't even you know, lift itself up into the air. And um, if there's a problem with the motors or ESCs, then that would make sense because the two working motors or ESCs would you know balance itself out to keep this thing stable. So if two of them aren't um, you know producing enough thrust or spinning fast enough to produce enough thrust, then the other two properly working motors would you know lower their thrust as well to keep this balance. Uh, but the, the downside would be that the you know the the two broken motors or ESCs are going to be the limiting factor for the overall thrust of this thing which is why it cannot fly now um the main thing that we need to diagnose right now is um you know what the problem actually is is it the motors is it the ESCs or maybe it's something else so let's go ahead and take a look The easiest way to test your motors and ESC would be to check with a known good motor. In this case, uh, one motors one and four are not working properly, but two and three, two and three are working. Oh, sorry, two and three are working correctly. So what we can do is we just remove each of uh, these motor motor uh, plugs, and what we're going to do is we are going to plug our motor two onto the ESC one connector and uh, we're gonna swap these and we're gonna swap these as well okay now we've swapped our motors now if um, another way to do this is if you have an extra motor you can just plug that one as, as long as you're you know that for sure that motor is working you can just plug it into the suspect ESC uh, like ESC 1 and 4 which uh, we suspect might be might be bro broken or damaged or non-functional in this case we have uh, two perfectly good motors so we are just going to use that to test um, okay so what they always say is that if the problem follows the motor then the motor has that has the problem so um, motor one is now plugged into uh, ESC number two which we think might be you know might be a good ESC or if if the motor is really broken or busted then regardless of which pl ESC plug you plug it into then th this motor should not be spinning properly uh, and that goes as well for motor number four so that's uh, going to rule out whether we have a motor problem or an ESC problem so let's plug in our battery and let's try arming this motors one and four Oops. Motors 1 and 4 are spinning, however, motors 2 and 3 are not. And we plug them into the, the, you know, the two suspect ESC uh, plugs. And uh, now, the problem didn't follow the motors. So it means that the motors are good, but the ESC is not. All right, so we've seen that, uh, you know, the two of the ESCs aren't working because when we plug the same, you know, the same motors, for example, this one, the motor one and motor four, when we plug it to another ESC, the motors are actually working. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the, the other two motors, when we transfer it to the ESC, to, to ESC one and four, then they stop working. So it means that it's not the motor's problem, it's the ESC. So we probably need to replace the board. We, 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 can, we can take a look, um, you know, um, some of the BL Heli settings, but um, again, I, I doubt because um, all the BL Heli settings are actually, you know, the same all throughout. It wouldn't explain why two of them, two of the ESCs aren't working and two of them are. So in conclusion, the ESCs are busted and we have to replace the 4-in-1 AIO board over here. I think this crazy F4 light 4-in-1 uh, AIO board, whatever, whatever it is. So that is a quick and easy way to diagnose if your motor or ESC has a problem. Now we are using here a brushless uh, whoop 
which uh, me which means that it's it's easier because you know we have a 4-in-1 ESC on this AIO board but the process is basically the same even if you're using individual ESCs in fact I have an old video which I'll link up here on how you can test um, you know one of your old um, motors you know, for example uh, a 5 inch motor um, and I'm just gonna link up here um, on how to build your own tester for your motors and if you're testing an ESC well just plug it in to uh, you know a working um, flight controller and uh, a known working motor and see if it's you know if it's spinning correctly so that is going to be it for this quick video this is just is uh, going to be a quick troubleshooting video and if you appreciate you know this uh, if this video helps you at all please consider making a donation at uh, my coffee link down below or at uh, my patreon link and uh, do sub consider subscribing as well and make sure to hit that like button so anyway i'm going to keep it uh, at that and end this video here as always keep building and keep flying.